Hi guys, Hyperletta here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay from Bad Company 2 with me playing some more Sweat Deathmatch. In this video, I wanted to cover a post on PCGamer.com that went up, um, well, pretty recently, where they write that a study suggests that gamers aren't desensitized by violent games. So the the thing behind this uh, article, or this study really, is, the, is to claim that people or gamers that play violent video games be become less sensitive to violent images or violent um, situations you want. So the theory is that they won't remember violent images as well as people who don't play violent video games. So a group of scientists had uh, volunteers separated into two groups, where one group had played uh, violent video or video games in general uh, in the last six months, and the other group hadn't. Then the two groups were shown 150 images, uh, and a few of those were, you know, violent, disturbing images. An hour later, the groups were um, asked to identify the violent ones in a new set of images. And the ones who were who had game for the last six months didn't show any difference in ability to remember the violent and, I, c I can guess, horrific images. So, while this study shows that might show that gamers aren't desensitized by violent video games. Uh, one of the researchers noted that it was a very small group and it can't be said for all gamers. And I really think that it's important that there's putting, being put serious <coughs> research into these matters because there's a lot of um, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of misconstruction and a lot of uh, just outright lies that's been taking uh, been taken as facts and are used in serious conversations or serious debates as facts like um the they say that people who play violent video games are being more violent in general in real life while some studies claim to show that most studies claim the different uh, beg to differ. Uh, they actually show that people who play violent video games aren't more violent. And I really think that it's important to put some research into this because I believe that violent video games do not necessarily produce more violent people, but it might bring to front a more violent side of some people that already have a problem with um, being violent or just have a problem in general from before uh, like if you're already prone to do certain things already uh, that are say violent or uh, and or the like really and you play violent video games you might get IDs that aren't healthy for you but I believe those people should perhaps be kept away it's like um, <laughs> To put a really horrible example, child rapists are being kept under watch and are not allowed to, you know, be in certain vicinity of children because of their um, <coughs> lack of judgment when it comes to what's appropriate to do around children. And, you know, that should perhaps be said about violent video games and people that have a certain um, problem with judgment when it comes to violent acts. Another thing that I wanted to mention in relation to this is um, a video that I watched on YouTube uh, some days earlier from the revolts or uh, demonstrations in Egypt. Uh, there was a big uh, news story about a diplomatic car from the stage, the states, or it was claimed to be one of the diplomatic cars uh, of the United States, 
where it run ran over at least 20 people and injured even more and I actually watched this video and I'll put a link on the screen to it and I'll just warn you right now the video is quite disturbing so before you go watch it really think it through because what it is in basic terms is a car that just suddenly accelerates through a crowd of people and mow down people mows down people like uh, it kind of is like GTA 4 where you can just they just run over people and you see people flying onto the hood and flying from the car uh, flying from up the front of the car and I have to admit the first time I watched it my brain kind of had a problem just conceiving the whole situation to my brain that looked like a video game that looked like something that wasn't real my brain just couldn't handle the fact that someone would actually do something like that in real life. I mean, that my <laughs> I just couldn't handle it. I actually had to watch it a second time just to be sure that this is actually real. These are real people actually being ran over. And, I mean, uh, it just it just blew my mind. I just couldn't comprehend it. And I've been playing games for I don't know how many years, I'm not really counting, and I've been playing violent games for probably just as long, but that video just put me off my game completely. Ah, uh, pardon the pun, but you know, still, uh, that video, uh, I, I don't know how to express myself, that was just unreal, beyond imagining, and... I'm not saying I'm in. Uh, I'm an example for everyone, but still, I played. Vi I've played violent video games, and I'm still able to comprehend what's right and wrong, and stuff like that shouldn't just should not be happening at any situation at all. I mean, that's just horrible. At a so, uh, it's at, a, at such a level that I, <laughs> I can't even express it. I mean, seriously. Too bad I didn't get that triple spray, though. Or triple kill feed, or whatever you want to call it. I mean... Uh, that just... Wow, that just boggled my mind like crazy. So... I... To kind of round it up at the end here... Um... This is a great way to take out attack. That was not my point, though. I didn't recognize that I actually was <laughs> making the wrong sounds. I, yeah, I screwed up there. That was a unnecessary death. Well, what a, to kind of round up the whole thing, I think it's important that we put some research into how games are actually affecting people and people who play games. Not just once or twice, but on a regular basis. I think it's important that we kind of learn what it has to, how it affects people. Um, games is unlike any other media or entertainment that we have because of the interactivity and because of the effort we have to put into it to actually reward us. So, well, uh, I'm not going to go into that, but <laughs> the way uh, the thing about actually putting something into games and rewarding us. Um, Back offs. Um, uh, so, uh, I think it's important that we really look into it, and I don't think that it's unhealthy per se, uh, in you know moderate amounts as it is with everything. Everything is unhealthy if you, you consume too much of it. But I think it's important that we also look into what, uh, especially violent video games, might do to some people that have, or that are prone to certain actions, or have a certain lack of ju uh, able to judge right from wrong in certain situation, and how video, vi especially violent video games, might might kind of um, emphasize that. So, that's the end of the clip. I go 18 and 7. Not too shabby. I hope to see you next time. Snackies.